Good morning, welcome to the workshop here at Visio HQ. Today I'm going to be running through the fitment of the top supercharger pulley. This gives you better results in your torque lower down and higher up. Um, also we're going to be going through the dyno, the map and all the results that accompany it as well. All we're doing now is taking a read of the ECU on the vehicle. Um, we'll send that upstairs to one of our technical team. They will do a custom map on it for me, send it back down, and then all I have to do is load it back onto the vehicle. All we're doing now is the first run, just to see what the initial power of the car is. Um, we're looking for about 500, 510 brake. Um, it is a 2015 plate car, so it might have lost a little bit. Right, we'll crack on. What we'll do is run it in fourth gear. It's the best gear to run it in, so we'll just get up there. We're going to be taking the car around to about 6,200 RPM from 15 all the way straight through and then we'll measure the power from there. After the first run, as you can see, this line here is your torque graph. This is your horsepower. Um, horsepower is nice and straight. There's no lumps or bumps in it, anything to worry about. The torque curve, it's not particularly great, but hopefully after the map of the pulley, that'll smooth right out. And this little bit just down here. It's just a little bit of wheel spin at the start. Um, the overall results, 508 brake horsepower and 496 foot-pound of torque at the crank. Um, so what we'll do now, is we'll fit the pulley, load the custom map on, and see what the results are. Right, we're going to start the fitment of the top pulley. Um, to do this, we need to remove the intake pipe. Um, to do this, there's two 7 mils here. It's the easiest way of getting them out is taking these two off. There's a 10 mil here, and there's also a breather pipe, which comes off by pressing these two together. A little wiggle, it should come off. There's also a jubilee clip right there on the throttle body. What we need to do now is remove the supercharger belt off the top pulley so we can get our tool on there and remove it. To do this, there's a tensioner down the bottom here on the left hand side. It needs a 3 8 either use a ratchet or draper do a specialist tool, um, which we will include the part number for at the end of the video. Um, turn that anti-clockwise and then you can remove the belt from the supercharger. They might be a bit tight, uh, but they will come off. Right, now we've got the supercharger belt off, we need to actually remove the pulley itself. Um, to do this, you're gonna need a proper pulley tool. Um, they are gonna be very tight. Um, this is the one we use, preferred choice. Um, I, will, as again, I will put the part number up at the end of the video as well for what you need. Um, so what we'll do now is attach this straight onto here. Make sure it's central. Do this back up so it's nice and tight. We'll tighten this end up, we'll tighten this end up, and then we'll start removing it. Right, now we've got the tool attached. I'll put an extension bar in here just to make my life a little bit easier, a bit more leverage, and then we're going to turn this clockwise until she's fully off. Now the supercharger pulleys off, um, we need to actually check the snout itself. Unfortunately, they're not all machined the same. Um, some of them have got rougher edges on, some are slightly thicker. Um, we all, always recommend that you just file it down a little bit, take a couple of mil off just to be on the safe side, as if you are unfortunate enough to get one of the thicker ones, the pulley will get stuck, um, and then you'll have to remove it again. Um, so all we'll do here is I'll shave a bit of the top off all the way around, um, just to make sure the pulley fits on nicely. 
Right, got a new Paramount Performance uh, top pulley here. All we need to do now is heat it up nice and evenly all the way around, get it nice and hot and ready to put it on the car. Right, now we've heated up, it's ready to go on the car. It's nice and red, heated throughout, front and back. Um, there's a few things you're gonna need for this bit. You're gonna need a welding glove or a heat proof glove, a jug of water over by the car and some pliers. Right, we'll just slide the pulley straight on. Be careful not to drop it, because obviously there's bits on the bottom that will melt. That needs to be flush with the actual snout, and then as soon as it's fitted, the water gets poured over, cool it down straight away. Right, now we've fitted the pulley, we just need to check, make sure it's spinning freely and it's not catching anywhere. Pulley's now fitted, charge belt's on. Um, the only other important bit is just to make sure we've got the roots in the belt right and make sure it's fitted to every tensioner and pulley in the correct position. Right, top pulley's on, map's done. We've just done the final run of the dyno. And I'm gonna talk you through the results. As you can see, the red is before, the green is after. The top red is the torque, bottom red is the, the horsepower, and the same with the green. Um, in the middle, we've made 80 foot pound of torque and took it from that 510 to that 597 brake horsepower.